Rocket Child. Yeah. What's up, Star Chasers, and welcome to another art video. Here we're going to make a simple project of how to recycle and turn an aluminium can into a planter. Also, if you haven't seen it yet, click on the card above to see how I painted this custom-made Vegeta planter. The reason I came up with this idea was because in my local Asian supermarket I found these novelty anime themed soft drinks and I really like the cans. So actually I bought a bunch of the cans not for the drinks but for the actual design themselves and I wanted to find a way in which I could craft and recycle to use the cans as something decorative and so that's how I came up with the idea of turning them into planters. What we need for this project is a drink can, an empty drink can, some draining stones, some pliers, plant seeds, a can opener, and some soil, as well as the trusty plastic spoon to shovel it in. Next, we're going to use the can opener and cut off the rim of the drink can. I found that the material got really flimsy along the way so sometimes I had to open up the can opener reposition it into a different part of the can and keep turning Once the can is open, the top rim will be very sharp, so be careful not to cut yourself. In the next step, we're going to use the pliers and using the cutter part, make little slits into the top of the can. Be careful not to touch the edge. And once that's done, we're going to push them inwards so that the pointed edge is inside the can. Here I'm using my finger to move them in, again being aware not to touch the, the edge, and then going back with the pliers to squeeze them down into position. That way whenever you touch your planter can, it won't be sharp anymore since that will be turned inwards. Next we're going to use a box cutter. Be careful because this stage is a little bit difficult. Just using the tip of it, make some tiny holes in the bottom of the can. These will be drainage holes. Uh, do a better job than me. <laughs> My knife is really blunt here and broke it up, which is probably why it was difficult for me. So try and get a sharper knife and do this. If you're young, get a parent to help. You don't need too many, just a few holes enough that water can drain out. Next we're going to get some of the drainage stones and put them in the bottom of the can. What we want to do is make sure the entire bottom is covered. In the next stage we'll fill the can full of soil. Here I'm using a plastic spoon because it's such a small container that it's good enough to do the job. <laughs> The next stage depends on what kind of seeds you bought. For me, I bought peppermint seeds, so I'm just reading the back of the instructions which say to scatter the seeds on top of the surface of the soil because they're so tiny, they were so small I couldn't even see what they looked like. They were just little grains of salt really, they were so small. I have a little gardening trolley out on my balcony with a small plastic tray so I just put the can there and topped it up with water. Any excess water will drain through the stones and then come out of the bottom into the tray. I'm not a plant expert so don't come to me if they die but for the time being mine are alive and they seem to be doing fine. But if you have any doubts, look at my sunflower. It has grown so tall, my precious. 
all from a little can planter. So it works! <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project. It has been a simple one, but it's fun to do, and in ways it makes my balcony seem a little bit more customized and cute, and a way to recycle some of your stuff. If you decide to make your own planters out of cans, please write down in the comments how you went and what kind of can you used. I think this is a really fun project to do. It's something that you could do with kids as long as uh, you're an adult who can handle all the shop stuff. But yeah, pretty simple, pretty fun. Give it a go. Yeah.